Um, yeah, I'm on my way for my post-op appointment. Mike is in his car because we're both going to go to work afterwards. Um, but better than it being my post-op appointment day, it is also my eight-month post-op weight loss surgery day. And I am, oh my gosh, you guys, I am eight pounds away from my goal weight. Eight pounds in eight months. Wow, that's like huge, 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 big deal for me. Um, I think I'm going to surpass my goal and I'm, I'm okay with that. I am totally okay with that. Um, I get frustrated sometimes because I still can't eat and we're foodies. I mean, I'll just put that out there. We're foodies. I love to try different stuff and I love to experiment and cook and explore and it's really difficult when all you can eat is three tablespoons. So there's that. It is difficult at best. Um, yeah, it's, that's parts frustrating. Um, also having to keep buying smaller clothes is kind of frustrating. I mean, it's, it's cool and frustrating all at the same time because that's expensive. But you know, Timu, Timu is my friend and I have been ordering a lot of stuff off of Timu. Actually, lately I haven't ordered a bunch of anything. I haven't ordered any diamond paintings since March. I haven't, I don't even have an open Timu order. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Right? Um, so I'm getting ready to roll up on the surgery center where I had my surgery last week. And um, hopefully, hopefully I get the stents out today and I'll be able to go to work stent free. Uh, we shall see. But I'll let you know how this appointment goes. I will talk to you afterwards. So here I sit. I'm waiting on Mike to get here. I'm afraid if I go in, then I'll miss him. And that will not make him all that happy. So I will just sit here and drink some coffee. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's been today. Eight months since my surgery. Eight months. And, um, yeah, like eight pounds. Eight months? Eight pounds? Mmm, that must... Number eight? Gotta play the lottery. Yeah, I'm so close to my goal weight. And, um, yeah, I think I'll go further than that. So, yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, let me do this. See ya. The dreaded pile of urine specimen cups. Yeah. My turn. Okay, so the appointment started out really good. Like, I got here and immediately had my x-ray and immediately had to give a urine sample and immediately in the room. And now we wait in the room. We are still waiting, but they have come in and asked me what did I do with my urine sample. Um, I did exactly what they told me to do and evidently they've lost it. Unable to pee at the moment. Okay, so the doctor came in and he said everything looks really good. Um, they're going to go ahead and take the stents out, which makes me very, very happy. Um, and I did have to produce another urine sample. Hmm. Yeah, kind of crazy. They are busy, busy, busy in here today. Yay, stents are out. Now I'm just waiting for further instructions. I have to come back in four to six weeks for a, another renal ultrasound and another x-ray just to make sure everything is good so so far so good i just want to go and get to work so hi guys yeah yesterday was pretty awful so i i left the doctor's office and i went to work and i made it two and a half hours and i could not sit here any longer so i had to go home i had to take some pain meds and um yeah, it was a Monday night Zoom retreat type thing, and I just was going downhill quick, so I had to jump off of that early and let somebody else take over my Zoom. Yeah, it was just, it was just awful. Like, pain meds wouldn't kick in. I, 
I guess taking the stents out, it caused me to have like cramps, like really bad. But, um, but yeah, not, not today I'm much better. Also, when I have done the scale today, I am down some more weight. So I am only six pounds from my goal weight. And oh, about that eight pounds on the eighth month, I did not play the lottery yesterday and I'm afraid to look and see. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just wanted to hop on here and kind of put some closure to the last video. I do have to go back in a month for an ultrasound and an x-ray and to see the doctor just to make sure that everything's okay. Because when I went to the doctor's last month, just before we went to Disney, I told him some symptoms I was having, different doctor. And he said, oh, well, we'll just wait and see what happens. And I knew then that something wasn't right. And uh, I was right. So remember, people, you know your body better than anybody. So if you feel like something isn't right, stand up for yourself and make them take the extra steps. Uh, had I had done that, I probably would have had this surgery pre-Disney. I'm not sure. Um, but I knew there was an issue. I knew there was an issue. So they did also talk about my kidney numbers being off pretty bad. So I do need to make an appointment with my uh, nephrologist. Um, yeah, I also have to reschedule a dentist appointment. So in March, when this happened to me, I was in the hospital when I was supposed to have my nephrology appointment. <laughs> Imagine that. This time, I was having surgery at the time when I was supposed to be at the dentist. So, so now I get to reschedule everything. Oh, the joys, the joys. But anyways, I wanted to share with you that I am six pounds away from my goal weight at eight months out of surgery. Oh my gosh, you guys. And the nurse practitioner in the um, weight loss office said, I think you'll lose 75 pounds in a year. I'm at almost 130 pounds in eight months. So yeah, I far surpassed the expectations. And uh, in a couple of weeks, I need to go and see the actual surgeon who did the surgery and see if she will take care of my stomach. I need to have that surgery. So yeah, that's all there is today. I hope y'all have a fab day and I'll see you real soon.